Okay. Good evening. Hi, Ernesto. How can you explain what happened tonight? Uh, after so much lack of concentration, mistakes, it was a bit like Rome. Can you? How can you explain how we were knocked out? It's, it's happened again. It happened last year. It's true that it's been different games, the first leg and second leg. We, they started really well. Uh, they kept the pinders back. Uh, early goal, we reacted well after that. Uh, we managed to control things a little bit later on in the second, in the second half of the first half. We had half chances to score. I think that uh, we we conceded two goals, and then they really kind of got on top of us after those two quick concessions. We haven't managed to get on the score sheet tonight. They scored two and two, and they kind of rolled us over, really. They've been really strong. They, they played really well. We've just got to, we've got to congratulate them on the performance they put up in the tie as a whole. It's a terrible result for our fans and for ourselves. And we wanted to, we didn't expect a situation like this. Uh, and this is what's happened to us. It's really, really unfortunate. But credit due to Liverpool. Uh, Football-wise, how many explanations are there for tonight? There are certain games of football which are just inexplicable. Well, can you find an explanation for tonight? Yes. They pressed us really, really high. They ran quite a few risks. We couldn't settle. Of course, uh, like any game, if the op opposition is put into huge pressure and they rob you of the ball near to your own box, they're gonna. Uh, if you can't stop that, and if you don't punish them, punish them with the rare chances that you have, then this is what's going to happen. We gave the ball away too close to our own area. We, they were really driven on by the support of their own fans. They pushed us hard, and sort of morale-wise, it was really hard to pick ourselves up. The two goals that came one after another had a huge effect. That pushed them forward, and we couldn't resist that. We tried, we tried to sort of sit a little bit deeper to try and grab hold of the game once they'd got to three all. But with the fourth goal, phew, that was it. That that ended the tie for us with the fourth goal going in. We couldn't respond. The fourth goal you just referred to. Um, it was a dead ball. Uh, everyone seemed to be surprised by the speed at which the corner was taken. Was it a lack of attention from the defence? And even the players themselves were, were surprised. When, when, when I looked up, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. It was a really quick reaction from Liverpool. We we've been we've been really prepared for dead ball situations uh, because we know they're strong in that position. Dead balls they're dangerous, but it was a surprising play, uh, and it did surprise us. Have you managed to spend some time in the dressing room? What's what message have you given to the lads in the dressing room? Must be really down after that. When you have a, a battle like tonight, you need to really, you're going to go through some really tough few days, like all our fans as well. We're going to suffer, the fans will suffer as well. That's what it's like. You have to go through this penitence, and then with time, 
they've not got long to go to the end of the league season. We've got the cup still to fight for, and we've got to really finish the season well on a high after this. But for the moment, it's just we're blown away. It's terrible. What would you say to the Barca fans in the stand after they've suffered this defeat? We're really sorry. Everything that we do, uh, everything that we were playing for, everything that footballers do for their living, is 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 to satisfy the fans and bring joy to the fans, uh, and so they can be proud of the the players. Well, this is football. These things can happen. Everyone hopes that this doesn't happen, but it can take place. We've had painful defeats in the past before, but uh, it's the Champions League. Uh, this is the first game we've lost this season in the Champions League, and we're out. It is what it is. We're all together, though. Whatever fans and players, whatever happens, we stay united. The players have to take their responsibility for the defeat. And we do. The, the players are, who, who at the end of the day, they're the ones out there on the field who play. When we win, we were happy, and when we lose, we feel upset and sad. Uh, uh, why did you decide to take Arturo Vidal off? And Artur, why did he come on? What were your thoughts behind that change? Did you see that he looked tired or? I think uh, Arturo did really well after the first half. He kept us in the game. That's what we wanted. He was providing a role that we wanted in the middle of the park. He was a little bit tired because he always gives everything. He, he kept us permanently in the game, but it, uh, we realised we needed another solution, uh, another person to solve the problems. Last, last question. Fourth goal. How do you explain the fourth goal? What 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 sensation do you have? What feelings do you have after that? How could everyone be so confused at that situation? Is is it make it even more painful to concede a goal like that? Every goal are painful to concede. Every, every goal is an error on behalf of someone. Um, if you give a corner away or someone lost the ball prior to the corner. Every goal that we concede, we have to uh, accept blame. Someone's always responsible. It's the same way when Liverpool conceded three in the new camp. They would have been down to errors of some sort during the game. Obviously, you saw the you saw the, the, the situation clearly. When I looked up and saw it, it was already in the net. People weren't looking. And what can you say? They scored against us. We weren't concentrating. Thank you. And good night.